guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we do our freezer breakfast burrito meal prep day. Um, I do this a bunch of different ways, so I'm just gonna bring you along today. I start with a huge pallet of eggs and a bowl to crack eggs into, and then my biggest stainless steel bowl that I will make um, the actual burrito filling in as I go. So I'm starting by just cracking like a whole bunch of eggs. I ended up doing the entire top layer of this palette, which is 30 eggs. And depending on the day, how much time I have, um, all the other ingredients that I'm using, I might come back for eggs, but this is all I ended up using today for this batch. It takes a little while to beat that many eggs when they're all in the same bowl, but then I just added a little bit of milk and some pepper. While I get some butter melting on the stove in a pan, I'm gonna start preparing everything else. So I had a whole ham pre-chopped the day before and in the fridge, and so I'm just pouring some of that into my big bowl. And then Garrett, this batch is for Garrett, my husband. He likes a lot of cheese, and so I'm putting a bunch of this nacho taco blend cheese. And then I keep green onions chopped and ready in the freezer so I can throw those into anything. So I sprinkled some of that in there, and then I always keep a big bag of frozen spinach in the freezer as well. So I'm just putting a big handful of that to get some greens into his burritos. By then, my butter was melted, so I poured half of it into my pan. That's about all that fits, so I just have to cook the eggs in two different shifts unless I want to get out like a bigger pot. But I feel like it cooks more evenly and I can watch it better when I'm not doing it all at once. So two shifts is fine and then I just work on everything else um, sort of while they're cooking. I pour a bunch of jarred salsa into our burritos. Um, my husband takes them to work and microwaves them and if I don't put some sort of moisture in there, they are a little bit dry. So um, salsa adds some really nice flavor and definitely adds that moisture in there. As long as I was cooking, I figured I should eat breakfast, so I put some of those eggs on a plate for myself. So I'm telling you guys, there's really no recipe. I kind of just keep adding things until the ratio of what's in the bowl looks good, like looks like what I would want in my burrito. So you can see I'm like adding some more cheese now that I have some eggs in there. And then I go ahead and eat my breakfast while I'm waiting for the rest of the eggs to cook. Once I added the other half of the eggs, I decided it needed a little bit more ham, so I put the rest of the ham in there, and then I added just a little bit more cheese. As soon as it looked good, I cleaned up my workspace a little bit and set up my burrito rolling station. I spoon some of the filling onto the tortilla and just kind of even out the shape. And then I fold the ends in before I roll it up. I have been making burritos like this for Garrett to bring for his lunches for almost two years now. And so I've tried a bunch of different ways of rolling it. And this one just seems to hold up the best after like freezing it and then pulling out and microwaving it. And hands down, this is Garrett's favorite and my favorite that we've tried so far. So I only had four tortillas left and you'll see that I also run out of foil, but I wanted to show you guys that you don't have to be completely all ready to meal prep breakfast burritos. Sometimes I just have to fit it into the nooks and crannies and like you saw I chopped up ham on one day and I'm like making the filling on a different day and end up rolling them after going to the grocery store the next day. So you can just kind of fit it in however you can. We've tried a couple different ways of storing these in the freezer and wrapping it in foil seems to work best. It preserves them well in the freezer and then when Garrett gets to work, he can just unwrap them and it's easy for him and he just puts it on like a paper plate at work and microwaves it. I would love to find a more eco-friendly and non-disposable way of doing this. So if anybody has any suggestions, please, please let me know. I always label them so he knows what batch they are, or in this case, the batch that's still in the freezer was also a ham batch, so he knows this is like the fresher ham batch, it's the ham two batch. In this way, we can make sure that we're using up the older ones first. So after I meal prep, this entire shelf in our freezer is usually full when I can actually roll them all in one day. And then I'm just putting the lid on this bowl and putting it in the fridge. And like I said, I ended up rolling it the next day. Um, but what I really like to do when time allows is actually repeat that whole process again. And this batch made 15 burritos. And so if I doubled that, that'd be 30. That would be one month's worth of burritos in the freezer. And usually if I do like a big double batch like that in one day, I will do sausage or bacon. So there's some choices in the freezer. I love to be able to get a month's worth done in one day. and. Occasionally that actually happens, but I wanted to show you guys that even when that doesn't happen, you can just kind of squeeze it in wherever you can squeeze it in and still meal prep and it saves so much time 
and money and um, I don't know we just really love doing this and I felt inspired to share it with you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you're gonna try meal prepping some breakfast burritos and what kind you're going to make if you do um, but that is it so thank you guys so much for watching the video today and I'll see you next time with another video bye guys